A few weeks ago, I got Stardust Lube. Just put six drops, break in, and enjoy. And I gotta say, enjoy it I did. But maybe I would have enjoyed it more if I followed the instructions instead of putting in seven drops. <sighs> Rookie mistake. And now I'm back with good news. Stardust is my new favorite lube. However, that does not mean you should go drizzle this on all of your cubes. Stardust is great if you use it right. So let me explain. This is my main, the JPerm Ars 3M 2020. Your standard edition of this cube is not that fast, so this cube is lubed with Lunar and Weight 1. Over time, the Lunar lube really starts to dry out. So of course, I've re-lubed it many times with Lunar. But it's not enough, and because of all the garbage and dust buildup in the cube, I just throw more Lunar in there. And overall, the cube tends to get slower over time. During the Stardust unboxing, I actually put some Stardust in this cube. And there was another JPerm cube that I just hit with some more Lunar. As I do 3x3 solves, since I have so many copies of my main, I never really know which one is which, so I just pick whichever one I feel like using at the time. They have slightly different speeds and outer textures just from using them for a while, but the one that really stood out to me was the one with Stardust in it. This cube is fast. It's not just fast, it feels unnaturally fast. The RS3M 2020 is not a very fast cube, and that's why we put these fast lubes into it so that it becomes, in the end, a little faster than average. But with Stardust, oh boy, I didn't know this cube could get this fast. Now my algorithms are insanely fast. Just kidding, my algorithms are not faster than they were before, but they have gotten more effortless. And this can create more mistakes or fewer mistakes, it kind of depends on the situation. And the situation I'm in right now is a lot of my finger tricks are now riskier than the finger tricks I used three years ago because I'm pushing myself to try and make these algorithms faster. And while before I really didn't mind slower cubes, I think faster cubes really suit these finger tricks better. Now, why did I mention all the other stuff that went into the cube before Stardust? Once you use the cube for a long time, there is less lube and more garbage, like residue from the lube that has dried up and just dust and whatever else has gotten into it. And when that stuff is in your cube, it will eat up the lube you put in. Which is why I was really surprised even after a few weeks, somehow this cube was still insanely fast. Cameron from Speedcube Shop told me that when you mix Stardust with Lunar, you can get a more long lasting fast feel. And I can't tell if it's faster or not than just Stardust, but it does give a different feel. Which is what we're getting to next. Big cubes. Big cubes have a lot of friction and they need to get faster for you to solve faster. Unlike on a 3x3 where I can just turn harder if it's a slow cube, on a big cube, I need the cube to be fast or I won't be fast. When I put something fast like Lunar, for some reason what happens is there's sort of like this wet feeling inside. You know what, wet is the wrong word. I'm just gonna say that Stardust gives a dry feeling and that's what I want and Lunar is the opposite. And it's the closest thing I've felt to having a lube replicate what a cube feels like out of the box, which is really fast, but also sort of dry, pretty much the ideal settings that I want for a 7x7. Now, with each time that I've put in Stardust, and keep in mind there's already like weight one and Lunar probably in this as well, the cube speed has not been as good as the first time I put it in. So I'm going to clean it out and try again because I haven't cleaned the 7x7 in so long. But despite that, just throwing Stardust into an old cube has still done better for me than any other lube combination, and I actually average a few seconds faster now. And then for 4x4. I've never liked 4x4 too much, and I think the reason might just be that I can turn almost as fast as on a 3x3, but it takes a lot more efforts because it's sort of a big cube. But I practiced 4x4 for a few days with Stardust in it, and I've actually had a lot of fun turning this cube. I think for big cubes, that is the most significant difference maker for me. It gives this dry, fast feeling that I really enjoy and I can achieve without having to clean out my cube all the time. And because it's so much faster and more fun to turn, I can practice for longer. So even if it doesn't make me faster right away, which it did, I would still be able to improve faster just by practicing more and not getting as tired. And trust me, if you've never done big sessions of big cubes, it can wreck your hands if your cube isn't fast enough. Another thing Cameron told me about this lube is when you apply it to the pieces, it actually, once it dries, will leave sort of a coating that keeps it fast and dry feeling. Now, of course, it wouldn't look like this. It would get rubbed along other pieces and basically just become gone. I don't know if there's a visual difference or how to tell if the coating has worked, but apparently the purpose is to keep it more long lasting. As it is a fast water-based lube, don't expect it to last super long, but this magical coating that it claims to do might be 
be good, I'm not sure. I'm still just really impressed it lasted weeks with the Lunar and Weight 1 combination. Keep in mind though, your results may vary for many reasons. The lube may dry out faster if you use the cube more, or if you live in a dry place or a dusty place. And of course, I can't predict what would happen if you mix this with different combinations of lube and you would just have to try those out for yourself. And remember, this lube is meant to be fast, but nothing else. So if you have a naturally very fast cube like the GAN 11M Pro, maybe you shouldn't put in six drops as you may not enjoy. Oh, wow, this, this is stupidly fast. I am, I am sometimes enjoying this. So overall, I am super impressed with Stardust, and I usually don't care too much about new lube releases, but I have heard a lot of good things about Stardust, and people asking me to talk about Stardust, so if that is any indication, I think that this is a really well-liked lube. If you want to buy this, you can go to speedcubeshop.com through a link in the description, and make sure you use the discount code JPERM. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.